Next is the interview process. Please be prepared. You want to go out there and Google the company. You want to Google the person you're meeting with so you know who they are and what their title is. You want to rehearse answers to some close-ended and open-ended questions. And some close-ended questions are, when can you start? Okay. Would you entertain a counteroffer if your current employer counteroffered and we made you an offer? Can you work independently? Those are closed-ended questions, yes or no answers. Open-ended questions, which many employers are asking these days, are behavioral interview questions. And what that means is they're asking questions that make you tell a story about how you have handled a situation in the past. The research behind this is that the way you've reacted in the past is a predictor of future behavior, but there's argument out there that people change. So some of those questions are, tell me about a time when you didn't agree with how a supervisor handled a situation. Tell me about a time when you had competing deadlines and how you met them. Tell me about a time when you didn't agree with how a teammate was handling something. What that does is it forces you, the candidate, to tell a story about a time when this happened so that the employer can explore how you reacted. So be prepared for the behavioral interview questions. And some more technical positions are doing, you know, they'll do skills-based tests. Um, most of the time, they will tell you ahead of time. But if they don't, don't be surprised. But finally, what I want to tell you about the interview process is prepare questions of your own. You're interviewing them too. Why is the position open? You want to know. What are the characteristics in an ideal candidate? Why did you come here? What keeps you here? When do you want to have the position filled? Are there other applicants? What are the next steps? And when can I expect to hear from you? All of these questions are legitimate. 